Hi, I'm Gila Rayberg, and this is Mosaic Arts Online. In this online course, I'll be teaching Picassiette portraiture. I'll start you from the beginning of the process, explaining how I chose a reference photo and what works best. I will demonstrate how to transfer the reference photo to a substrate and share a unique way to show you tone, values, and highlights before you start your mosaic. Once your image is ready to mosaic, I will talk about the various materials that are possible to use for my technique. I love to work with all types of china, pottery, and crockery. I will teach you how to cut the materials and to create shapes and pieces that best highlight the features of the face. We will start with creating the eyes. I will use stained glass for the eyes in this particular project, but that's not really a must for this process. Once the eyes are created, I will demonstrate how to create the nose, lips, and ears. I'll show you how the textures and shapes of the plates and pottery can create volume and lifelike expressions. Once the facial features are complete, we move on to the hair where I'll show you my tricks to create voluminous strands that give the hair movement and flow. Lastly, we will discuss background choices and grouting. This technique can be used for a lot of variety of human and animal portraits. In the next section is a PDF of all the tools, materials, and resources you'll need. So let's get started. Gila, thank you so much for coming to Mosaic Arts Online. This is a huge honor. I have been a huge fan of yours for a long time, and now to have your work here and what you've created is just awesome. So before we get started, can you give me a quick background of how you got started as a mosaic artist? Yes, thank you for having me. I'm so excited to be here. Um, I started mosaic when I was a teenager learning from my sister oh. and then um, I carried on with my music career yes. for many years and um, just kind of somehow dreamt about mosaic for many years and then um, about Oh, several years later, i make this a little short, we don't want to go <laughs> okay. into a novel. Um, I started back doing mosaic, just kind of doing whatever kind of themes kind of attracted me. I just started doing a little bit of a time, ceramic and then stained glass and adding in smalty and all kind of material. And then about nine years ago, I got involved with this group called Julia Kay's Portrait Party, where it's a collective of artists from all over the world that are doing portraits of each other in various mediums. Mm -hmm. um, so I started actually because of that group, and I was a mosaic artist, and it took me so long to do one mosaic, and they were like drawing and painting yeah, and producing right? things mm -hmm. so quickly. Yeah. I was like, I want to do that too. So I started my own drawing and painting practice and started like any traditional media I could I was right. trying to learn so I just and I love to draw now so of course drawing daily um, really helped me develop my mosaic mm -hmm. and really which is see. an important important tip for anybody out there drawing journaling anything you do daily can really enhance your art right absolutely and it's what I think gave you your style like your thing about your hands and if you don't follow Gila you should and you could see how she has a really beautiful fun whimsy unique style to her drawing and her mosaics and that came from your daily work right absolutely oh, yes. that's so great now, is it possible for students to use their own image for creating this while watching you create the one you do for this course? Because you use Anna, but someone else might want to use their own dog or self-portrait. Absolutely. Totally can use your own image. I lay out... Um, and I, I kind of explain to you as I go why I chose the image so you can transfer those um, tips to choosing your own reference right. for why uh, things work particularly well and um, anyone can do it a beginner or someone who's very experienced anyone can follow right. along and do it to their own skill level and you could do it many times and create different ones there's a whole lot of tips um, that I include in here that will help you with whatever level you are at in your mosaic work. Yeah, and I mean, learning how to do a black, white, and gray values um, kind of image to get started before you create the mosaic is another great lesson just in itself. Absolutely. So there's so much information packed into this almost 40 section online course, which is absolutely incredible. Um, and so one last thing. Um, where do you get all your materials and how did this become the way for you to create these unbelievable um, images that you do? 
Well, I actually, I start with this portrait party thing. I um, started doing portraits of all kind in stained glass. And then one day I just had some dishes of my grandmother's that broke. And I decided I was going to use this one bit um, in Anna's. Actually, it was Anna that was mm -hmm. my, my first Picassiette piece. And right. so I'm using her again because she has such great features. Um, so that just kind of grew from there. And um, I just, I love going thrift stores and yard sales and you always can find really great things. Um, it's really cool when you can find a whole set of something yes. like an estate mm -hmm. sale or something, because then you don't run out of material. Cause right. a lot of times it's like, I have one cup and I'll talk about this in the course and how do you stretch that and make right. it work. So it's really fun to collect. And also once you tell your friends and your family that you're doing this, you'll get broken pieces from them. They're all excited to give you something uh, that you can use <laughs> in a box of art, on a, in a piece of art rather than throwing away or cause it has special meaning. Yes, so it's yes. really exciting and you can use, um, you know, the things that are in the designs and patterns that have meaning to you or to the person or pet that you're yes, doing. And yes. they can, you can build a whole nother, another level of interest into your work. Yes, and you do it. And to show on this image is one thing, but then to be able to incorporate your own personal portrait of yourself or your child or your dog, she lays it all out for you. It's really broken down from soup to nuts, A to Z on how to do this process. And I can't thank you enough for coming to Mosaic Arts Online. It's an absolute, absolute pleasure. And I hope you'll join me. Yes.